If you've ever wanted to set up a water feature or a fountain, yet you don't have power, then you might be considering a solid water feature pump such as this. Today we're going to have a look at what comes in the package, we'll put it together and we'll show you how it works. This is a basic kit and it comes with a solar panel, the pump, a fountain spray head and a spike so that you can garden mount your solar panel if that's what you want to do. You'll find that the pump has a cable that's about five meters long so you can locate the solar panel a fair way away from where you want to run the pump. For a quick demonstration we're going to set the pump up in a bucket of water just to show you how easy it is. We'll set the pump up with one of the risers that gives your spray head some height two and then the spray head. We won't need the third one for this size bucket. So submerse the pump in the bucket and now we're ready to plug in the solar panel. We've plugged in the solar panel it's located about three or four meters away from our solar pump it's in the sun and now we'll show you how it all works there we go our solar pump it's working of course you're not really going to want to have your solar fountain in a bucket we'll show you how to attach it up to a fountain in a minute this is the fountain that we're going to use and it's sitting in the garden pond. Equally, you could use a fountain that's sitting in some sort of container, perhaps a big ceramic bowl, whatever you like. You'll notice that this pond is in the shade. However, our solar panel will be in the sun. We've got some plastic tubing attached to the copper fountain inlet. We'll attach the pump to the other end of that tubing and then we'll reconnect the solar panel. We'll attach the pump and we've plugged in the solar panel and you can see that the fountain started to work already. Remember, you will need to have the solar panel in full sun otherwise the fountain's simply not going to work. Cloudy day, same thing. Choose the right size pump for the fountain. This fountain is a little bit over three feet, perhaps one meter in height. The pump that we've chosen will pump to that. We didn't choose a more powerful pump because if you choose a really powerful pump, you'll have too much water flow. So, top tips, choose the right size pump for the fountain. Make sure that your power cord is long enough to reach into a position where the solar panel itself can be in full sun. If you'd like to know more about solar water fountains or garden plants, bulbs, roses, plants for the veggie garden, garden pots, in fact anything that can help your garden grow or make it look better. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit the website. In fact, anything that can help your 